courteous shade, thou whose fame yet lives. My name is Flora. Thank you for coming to this performance. Although it's a rehearsal, this performance means the world to me. With that, let our story begin. Descending upon the peaceful and prosperous kingdom, an evil dragon brings wanton flames of destruction and takes the princess away. A wandering traveler awakens in a dark and gloomy forest. Sitting next to a bonfire as it dispels the night, the traveler talks with a young witch about the journey of hope. Yet, the evil dragon soars high above, bringing nightmares to the land. Oh, traveler, does one yearn for her from afar? Or is there trepidation about the path ahead? Alas, the ballad still remains a sense of hope. With the arrival of the dragon, a roaring tempest pummels with the dwindling ship. It serves as a punishment for those who resist, and a warning for the traveler. People fear disaster in this poor village. They repel outsiders. Does the wanding traveler dare retreat and indulge in beautiful dreams? But the ballad is still full of hope. This is your answer, right? The youth listens in ardent fascination. For the devastated kingdom, this marks the end of a journey, but also a new beginning. The dragon awaits the traveler's arrival. Traveler, Thy story will be remembered. Praise shall be heralded. Someone shall follow in thy footsteps. Thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest. Nor shall death bring thou wanderest in the shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. The slumbering traveler awaits the destined brave, Meet again with an iris in hand, and dance together on the grand stage. Calling out in her sleeping, Iris, or perhaps a long lost name, Selena Florence.